All right, here's the situation. You're trying to court a dame, and then she asks you a question, and you have no idea what to answer her. How would you feel if instead of getting this, you would rather ask a crystal ball what the answers are? In this video, we're gonna look at how to work with master getters. Hey guys, before we get started, we've noticed that a lot of people that are watching these tutorials are not actually subscribed. As a young channel seeking monetization, we really need those subs, so we ask for your support. Thank you. So let's break down quickly what is actually happening here. Uh, we have an uh, NPC, we have a name, we have a generic task, text, which is the question she's going to ask, then she has a right answer and a wrong answer. Now, if I go and talk to her, she will ask me that question and then I get to answer one or the other. Now we saw what the answer was, it was roses. And if we select roses, it's a correct answer. If we select tulips, it's a wrong answer. But what we actually want is this, the crystal ball. How does it work? It's, is it magic? Not really. If we talk to it, it will actually go through all of the information, but the information was given to the crystal ball ahead of time. And that's where the magic happens. So here's the logic behind what we've actually done. We have master classes in the game. We have the game instance, which is the whole game. We have save files and we have smaller, softer classes like the level blueprint, the game mode, the player controller it can also be a player character, although it may change between levels. Now, let's say you have an actor blueprint and another actor blueprint, and you basically can communicate with the above, but how do you make them communicate between each other? One of the most classic way to do it is to find the actor, but that's a little bit too uh, risque, if I may. If you're looking for something in a crowd, you can easily say, uh, I'm looking for a guy in a red shirt. And you know, you look at it and there it is. But what if there are three of them? How do you discern them or between each other? What if you're looking for one, but not the other two? You can make them basically raise their hands. And that's the whole concept with the master getters. So what we'll do instead is that the actor blueprint will communicate to one of those master classes who will then give the information to the other actor blueprint. So the communication still goes with the actor blueprints sending information upstream and then receiving the information when needed downstream. All right, so let's take a quick look at the blueprint. So first off, the game mode. In it, we have the typical generated dialog box and close the dialog box. I'm not going to go into too much detail. It's pretty simple. Stop movement. Uh, if we have a dialog box, close it. Otherwise, open it. Add all the information. Uh, set it. Add it. Set the input mode. Show cursor. The only important takeaway here is that we have an array called ladies, which is uh, an actor array of for our ladies, basically. Now, if we go look at my woman, she has a begin play event called declares herself. So what's actually happening is that as soon as she spawns, the first thing she's going to do is get the game mode, cast into it and look for that array. And then she's going to add herself to it. The crystal ball, on the other hand, will have a specific uh, function or event called telebro. So what Telebro does is that it resets the text to nothing, casts to the game mode, and then looks for the ladies objects, all of them. So if you have four of them spawn, they will all declare themselves into that array. And then we'll do a for each loop for every single one of them in the array. We will cast into them and then we'll get all their details and format a text to be set. At the end, we'll generate the dialog box with the text. Finally, we have our good old third person character. We have just a simple overlap uh, box in front of the character right here, which will basically check, uh, am I overlapping with something? And if I am, uh, interact with the last thing, which is here, the interact button. Get the overlap, get, actually not the last thing, sorry, the first thing, and then send an interact uh, message. So here's how it works. When I press play, at the beginning, beginning, before I even get to move or control my character, these four ladies have already given to the game mode all of their information. 
So the game mode is aware. When I interact with the crystal ball, it asks the game mode, hey, what are each lady's answers? To which it says this. Blue likes tackles, red likes blue, green likes ketchup, and yellow likes roses. And sure enough, roses is correct. Tacos is correct. Blue is correct, not red. And her favorite condiment is ketchup, not relish. We can even ask her again, see the choices change, it's not always the first option. It's not relish, it's ketchup. 